Okay, let's pivot to this year's draft. Because I'm fascinated to talk about like what, what somebody, what somebody says and, and how much credibility they have. Um, Jim Harbaugh came out today and he said, he doubled down, he said this before, that J.J. McCarthy is the best quarterback in this year's class. Uh, oh, wow. The bias is the bias is obvious. We say, oh wow, like that was a, was that sarcasm? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm just surprised. So, I'm just yeah. Okay, that's a lot. Yeah, go ahead. Well, is it a lot because it's coming from Jim Harbaugh, his old coach in Michigan, or is it a lot because it's ridiculous? Because I'm just like, because I, 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 well, I, I go back and forth. Okay, okay. <laughs> both things can be true. I go back and forth because all right, like so the bias. We don't even need to address the bias because of course that's what Jim Harbaugh would say. But I'm fascinated by this draft process rise of J.J. McCarthy because on the one hand, if I'm an evaluator, it would scare the shit out of me that I'm projecting that he will do things that he either didn't or didn't have to do at Michigan, okay? He had a running game. He had a defense. He had everything perfect. And as you know, in the NFL, rarely is everything perfect. Everything was perfect around him to the point where his numbers, now his advanced analytics paint a very rosy picture of J.J. McCarthy's potential, but his actual numbers pale in comparison to people who were asked to do more. Juxtapose that yeah. with Caleb Williams, whose defense was atrocious, right? Um, on the other hand, I'm all, often fond of saying when it comes to prospects that we, we often talk too much about what a guy can't do when really what we're right. saying is what he hasn't done or what we haven't seen right. him do yet which is why it's such an inexact science, because this is a projection. And the things I read and hear about J.J. McCarthy, especially if he's dropped in a place like, oh, I don't know, Minnesota, they kind of excite me, Mr. Buckeye. They kind of excite me, Mr. O-H-I-O. So, so it's, it's risky yeah. because you, you, can't, you can't point to 5,000 yards and 50 touchdowns and four interceptions, and, but you can say, wait a second, he's got these tools, he's toolsy. He's toolsy. He's got these traits. He's got the makeup of what we look for in a quarterback. And this I mean, like, again, this he could be a great. All the hard He could be wait, all the hard He could be a there. great. He could be know, a great system quarterback, Michael. He could be a great system quarterback. <laughs> you know, like you know, but the they eye black. But they trade up for a system quarterback. Okay, the eye black, and then you want to talk about cliches that come with that, you know. There's, there's, there's some intangibles. The, the intangibles. kid's just a winner. He's a winner. He's a winner. He's a winner. He's got a big heart. He's playing you know, in the biggest moments. The big stage. He's not afraid yeah, of the big stage. Gonna, He's playing at the big house. He's not afraid of the big stage. I'm going to say this about the draft process. And we, we, well, we love it. We love it. But I'd say from anywhere from March until draft day that day three of the draft from March until day three of the draft. Every evaluator has low character. Every evaluator lies. Every evaluator has no integrity. Every evaluator has next level may whether they play chess or not there. This is 3d advanced advanced chess where they will take on they could beat anybody they could beat Bobby Fisher they could beat deep blue any kind of computer whatever it is they just lie they lie and they just throw all kinds of stuff out there and it's extremely entertaining it's not true but it's entertaining and so just take it for what it's worth and if you really want if you really want to enjoy yourself just pick your player pick your favorite player whoever it is your favorite great player your favorite hall of famer and see if you can find uh, their draft report online. You probably can and just read what it says about them. Go ahead and read Patrick. Well, I did the other day. I read Patrick Mahomes the other day. It was oh, great. Yeah? Oh, yeah, it was great. You know, listen, his arm. Yeah, big time arm, but his arms gonna get him into trouble and you know, he struggles in certain areas and uh, you know, certain things he can't do. I'm like, <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> that's Patrick Mahomes. Hilarious and that's what, jo Josh Josh Allen. Hey, you know, this is disappointing. Only completed in college, you know, in the 50, 50% completion percentage at Wyoming. Oh, that's just not good. And 
you know, he's got a he's got a big arm, but you know, certain things he just doesn't understand. You know, playing the position. They're like, okay, all right. And so, what people can do goes too far. What people can't do goes too far. I will tell sure. you this. JJ McCarthy's not the best quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> well, where is he? Okay, and, fine. Where and, is he? And he knows. That's not a bold statement, but where is he? But, but where is does he belong in the conversation of like top four, yeah. like Minnesota or New York training well, up to get him conversation? Yeah, oh yeah. Is he, okay. is he, is he legit top that fi- good? Top 15? Sure. Yep. Because all these guys, most of the guys no, top in four, the top four. Top five, like training up to get him to four or well, five. Need- no, I mean, look. Here's one thing, Harbaugh, because you know Harbaugh, you know Harbaugh's full of shit, okay? So right. it's like, hey, g- hey guys, I know you guys are talking about going up to four to get the Cardinals pick to trade for a quarterback, but if you want to come up, we don't need a quarterback, so I can tell you objectively and unbiased, J.D. McCarthy is the guy you want. You really want to come up to five. We open for business at five. Exactly you can go up to five and get J.J. McCarthy. He's the best quarterback in the draft at the fifth pick. What a bargain. Exactly. For the price of exactly. only your next two first round picks. <laughs> then, then they come up. And he's in the draft room later, just chilling with the scouts. She's like, man, can you believe that? <laughs> <laughs> can you believe they drive to J.J. McCarthy? Don't they watch film? They don't want to see that. Uh, you ever seen that uh, that Breakfast Club clip where they just cracking up laughing like just fall over the place? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah no, that's absolutely. Um, yeah, this is that's that's perfect gamesmanship on the part of. Uh, but good of for Jim him. Harbaugh. Good for him. And look, if you're desperate, if you're desperate enough, yes, you don't have a quarterback. He's a top five quarterback for you if you don't have one. No, but what it is, you just got so much time. You got so much time. If you look at, if you, if you in the club and you lonely, you look at somebody long enough, they start to look good, especially when the lights start to come on or and it starts to get late and you get, you look at them long enough, you can convince yourself like, okay, you know, but like, I think they got so much time. It works both ways. Like if you look at somebody long enough, you're going to find this to pick. And if you look at somebody long enough, you're like, you know what? I could see spending the rest of my life with this person or at least tonight. You know, it's just, it it happens that way sometimes. Hey, thank you for watching Brother From Another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget, you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.